Hello everybody, I'm John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, thanks for being here. Remember to hit like, that helps. Remember to subscribe, that's how you win free stuff. First Monday of the month, so subscribe, hit like, do all that stuff before I get into this thrift store haul. And it is a traditional thrift store haul. Your garden variety, mom and pop thrift store haul. Uh, no flea markets, no garage sales. First thing I found, oh my goodness. How about this for cute, huh? Look at this adorable child holding a picture frame with her head popping through. All her fingers are there. This, I think, is 1970s. I don't think it's 60s, but it is adorable. You got the big eyes there, the super cute. And this was 50 cents. I mean, this is a crazy thing to find for 50 cents because it is in perfect condition. And I'm going to ask $16 for this because someone will stumble upon this and be like, I have never seen anything this adorable. I've never seen one of these. And uh, I love it. Should I give this away in one of the future giveaways? Maybe... Maybe say that in the comments. This is right in the perfect range of things I would give away for free. Next thing I found out, I found, what? This martini shaker. Come on. Found this for $2 at Goodwill. It's got some recipes on there, some drink recipes. Uh, it is old. You can see it's got a little bit of wear on the inside of there, but that's also kind of good. I haven't, I haven't put some steel wool on that. But um, this is an $18 1960s uh, martini shaker. Very cool. Barware, still hot. Mixologists out there uh, wanting to do their own thing. So, yeah, very cool. 18 bucks off of $2. Next thing, staying in the kitchen, I found this incredible, and I mean incredible, giant pot, covered pot. $5, you can see there, Christian Crossing, five bucks. And pots are tricky. They have to have two things. They have to have a good pattern, right? Which this one does, amazing late 1960s color. And when you open it up, you want to see this. Mint condition. You don't want any scratches, any burns, Anything like that, because that decreases the amount of people that will buy it. So you want this to be mint and in good shape. And this one checks all of the boxes. And that makes this pot that I paid $5 for between $25 and $30. Bucks. I'm probably going to cut it right in the middle. $26, $26, $27, somewhere in there. And that is a beautiful 1960s pot. All right, next thing I found. I found this beautiful op art picture now what is op art or optic art these little bumps in there that give it kind of that weird look that's called optic art uh, and here's the thing about this this is made in italy it says made in italy on the bottom so therefore it's italian or as we say in oklahoma italian this here's italian as it turns out it's got the little spout there, no chips, no cracks. And I thought this was a pretty decently valuable piece until I noticed this. I don't know if you can see it, but running right up the middle is a seam. Yeah, this was put in a mold. That means this was not hand blown. This was made, I think the, the handle was maybe attached by a glass blower, but this little seam you can feel it more than you can see it, indicates mass production to some extent. So uh, this is a great color, great look. Even though it's not completely hand-blown, it's still worth about 28 to 30 bucks. Not bad. I paid five. $4.99 at City Mission Thrift Store in Uniontown. But um, yeah, to me, it's about 28 bucks. Still nice. And we're going to learn all about this in the upcoming art glass episode of mid mod money yeah i'm going to show you guys what to look for in the 60s art glass world what makes this only worth 28 and not 80 the fact that it has a seam running through it 
it was in a mold and not completely hand blown. So 28 off of $4.99. All right, down to our last few things. Now I've had these on before. I sold one of these. The last one of these I sold for 49 bucks. It was better than this, but this one's still nice. This is made by a company called Miromatic, which I'd never heard. A lot of these are made by Rival, but it is a giant coffee pot. Good color. You know, this avocado green, that's what you want to see. You don't want a tan one because it's not going to sell, but an orange one will. It's a percolator thing and if you open it up again what you want to see is that shiny shiny aluminum great condition still has the cord uh i paid four bucks where's that four dollars christian crossing i'm gonna sell this for about 28 bucks i'll make 24 dollars off this i'll test it out i'll run a cup a uh, pot of coffee through it and uh you know make 24 bucks off a innocuous 60s multiple cup percolator all right now i don't want to freak anyone out here but i found this at goodwill and someone needs to tell me if i should have this in my house or not because it is some type of talisman no that's this is a tiki i think is what they call this yeah it looks like a tiki uh hand carved on the back, you can see little chips out of there, hand carved. Good age. This is this could be 70s, maybe even 80s, but because uh, it doesn't look that old, but it is old. Um, this was where is it? Well, there was a Goodwill sticker on here. Four dollars I paid for this. Four. But oh, there it is. Jesus, right on his head. Four bucks. Um, these sell, man. Uh, Hawaii stuff sells. Tiki stuff, Polynesian stuff. This is very, very, very easy to sell. I'll probably get about 34 bucks off of this giant wooden hand-carved tiki. But as always, when we find tiki stuff, it takes us right back to the Brady Bunch. Greg Brady found a smaller version of this. Old Mr. Hanale told them about where they could return the, uh, the tiki to the uh, burial of the kings. But it was too late. They had already found the tarantula and Greg had the surfing accident and the rest is history. But uh, Tiki, 34 off of four. So nice find. Now we're down to our last item. Can you believe it? An abbreviated episode, I think. Uh, but this next thing is super awesome. This is a giant mirror that I found at Christian Crossing for $10. Now I took the tag off so I could Windex her. But this is my $10 mirror. Yes, multiple mirrors. Again, kind of op art. You know, it's got that weird look to it. And this was 10 bucks, and it is super, super heavy. Okay? Ah, oh, look at that. Very, very, very cool mirror now the, this is like the kind of mirror that would have been in the drug dealer's house in boogie nights so what i'm saying by that is this is 80s not 70s although it's got kind of that optic art feel of a 70s mirror so you'd almost call this postmodern. that's what i think this is called postmodern. um so that 80s, 90s thing that's coming back pretty strong right now uh, is what this is. I paid $10 for this. Oh, and it's heavy. And I think that in my booth at the Antique Mall, I'm looking at between $125 and $150 for the giant, heavy, optic art, postmodern mirror. Okay, let's look at what I spent. I spent $30. $30.49 in total. I'm going to make $298 off of 30 bucks. So nice profits this week. And you can do it too, right? If you got uh, an automobile, if you have uh, a phone, a cellular phone with Google Lens, hell, anyone could pull this off. I do it. You can too. And keep watching my program, Mid Mod Money, and remember to always round up.